to analyze the data, we can go to the Analyze tab on the right-hand side. And here we have some options. First of all, we can show trace. So the actual um, wiggle trace is activated at this point, and where I click in the data will show in the wiggle trace on the side. Adjust the contrast if you need to change the peak of the wiggle traces. Next, we have the option to flip profile. Sometimes the profile needs to be reversed as I move the cursor across the data. Here, I'm going left to right, and it's also the marker in the 3D view is also going left to right. Sometimes that will be reversed, like so. So if you want that reversing, flip profile, and that whole swath will be flipped. We can change the vertical axis from depth to time in nanoseconds. Uh, back to depth, the depth will be based on this velocity here, which is the default value. So let's go ahead and check this value here by adding a hyperbola. Just activate and then click above the hyperbola that you wish to insert the false hyperbola and then adjust the values to match the actual hyperbola itself. So here, I'm probably looking around about 79 meters per microsecond. Enter that value manually at this point here. And that will then reset the vertical axis uh, based on that velocity. You can, if you wish, I'm just going to delete that. Go back into the filter list, reactivate the FK migration. And we can check this value is correct now by adjusting that slider bar and looking for the hyperbola to collapse to a single point. And therefore checking the correct velocity. So that was about right. So let's go back in and just adjust that slightly down a little bit. Once that completed, we can double check and rerun the interpolation um, based on the new values for the velocity analysis.